Hello? Is this thing on? Oh, hi. Hey guys, you want to practice for the family dance? Yeah! I got music. Let's do it! What are you guys doing? Just hanging out, practicing for the family dance party. Oh, that's not till later, remember? Besides, the girls and I are gonna teach the audience their part. Why don't you guys go get ready? Okay, Mr. Shh. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Bright Ones Experience. I'm Fred Vassallo, co-creator and choreographer for the Bright Ones film. And I'm Abby, a dancer and actress in the movie. And this is my beautiful daughter, Chloe. Thanks, Dad. The character I play in Bright Ones, Mia, loves fashion, singing, and dancing. And one of my memories growing up was having family dance parties in our living room. And since you're here with us, you're now part of the Bright Ones family, and we get to share that with you. So let's get ready to have some fun. Okay, since the Bright Ones film is about finding your voice, telling your story, and changing the world, we want to invite you to do the same by teaching you a song called Let My Life and some movements from the movie. And for those of you who don't sing and dance yet, don't worry. We've got something fun for you to do after the film. But for those of you who do like to move, we'll be teaching three levels of movement. Easy, intermediate, and advanced. For the intermediate and advanced, we're going to save that for after the movie. So here we go. Let's begin with the easy level. Snaps and claps. And for that, I'm going to bring in a very special guest. Hey everybody, I'm Dominique. I play Mrs. Sinclair, the performing arts director and Mia's mom in the film. She's also my mom in real life and wrote the song you're about to learn. Let My Life is a gospel arrangement of a traditional hymn. And in this style of music, the snaps and the claps happen on the second and fourth beat, like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Easy, right? Let's try it all together. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Well, some of us got that. Remember, the snaps and the claps happen on the second and fourth beat. Okay, singers, now it's your turn. The words for the song Let My Life are super easy to learn. Let's practice. I'll say them, then you say them. Let my life, let, let my, my life, life, always be, always be, oh, 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 oh a reflection, a reflection of your love, of, of your love, love. Lord, Lord, Lord. Got it? Let's try it with music. And remember, snaps and claps, see if you can hear the two and the four. Great job. We're gonna keep grooving here. We'll teach the intermediate and advanced movements right after the movie. And don't be leaving after the credits either. We don't want you to miss out on our family dance party. And now for the movie. 
Enjoy the bright ones. You unravel me with the melody. You surround me with a song. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. Don't you wish you could play with time? I guess that's the cool thing about telling your story. You can play with time. Freeze. Rewind. There we were. Me and my friends. Just a group of kids from a performing arts school, really. Now on stage doing our first national tour. How did we get here? That's a good story. And telling your story can change people's lives. The question is, where to start? I guess we should go back. Back to the beginning. The day we auditioned for River Valley School of the Arts. I feel it in my bones, you're about to move. Welcome to the audition for River Valley School of the Arts. We know that many of you have traveled from around the country for a chance to attend. River Valley is considered one of the top art schools in the world. And though we believe that there is gold in each and every one of you, not all of you can be accepted into the performing arts program. Starting today, you will need to overcome your fears. Because what you do as an artist isn't about fame and fortune. It's about using your God-given talents to love others. It's about eternity, yours and theirs. So today is your moment to shine. Don't show us what you've got. Show us what you've been given. All right, I need lines of... Mr. Sinclair is the performing arts director. She was classically trained in no-nonsense. Mr. Simmons is the core teacher. He studied in London and loves design and history, in that order. Both were tough, but so was getting in. River Valley had sent more kids to Broadway than they would in any other school. Me, I just want to get Jay, Becca, Mia, Kira, DJ and D2, Abby, congratulations. Your callback time is on the slip. Please wait out in the hallway. The rest of you did a wonderful job. Thank you for auditioning. Keep training, working hard, and we'll see you again soon. Hey, Claudia. It says you've been dancing for three years. Yeah. Yeah, are you okay? You seemed a little bit distracted in your dance call. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry, I didn't do better. Said so your dad's in the military. Where is he stationed? I don't know. He can't say. Has he been gone long? He deployed this morning. Oh. I should go. Hey, not before you get your call back, Slip. Thank you. 
Good luck. Softy. I mean, Dad leaving to combat on your big audition day, that's gotta be tough. But she's definitely got something. Sure does. Just hope we get to see it. We did all get into River Valley that day. But we'll get to our auditions later. Some stories are best told out of order. They just make more sense that way. Take the bus. Beebs, hurry up. I'm a coming, I'm a coming. Hey, mama. Hey, baby. To the funny faces. Beebs, stop. Come on. Cute. You got lunches? Packed. You study for your test? Done. Have you decided if you're going to perform at the showcase? It's not up to me, mom. Mr. Simmons is going to pick, and I told you, I'm not singing. Why? You sing in the shower. A lot. Grab your bag. And in the car, and on the bus. Claudia. It's time for you to step out. You're right. Watch me. I'm stepping out. The after school girl. Hey, Mikey, you tie your shoes. Please, Please, don't get your backpack. You got it. You? What about me? You. I had to get back in there and start over. Oh, hey, Jay. Good news. The Thompson family's taking a look at you. They may be by this week. I'll believe it when I see it. Jay, there's a family out there for you. Steve was the director for Hills Home for Boys. He was always hopeful I'd get adopted. Me, I wasn't so sure. Mia, yeah. hey. Sorry, Dad. Mom's gonna stay after school today, so I'll be picking you up. But I wanna go by and see Grandpa. Dad, do I have to go? Oh, it's not as bad as you think. Okay. Hey, Kira. Hey, Mr. Sinclair. See you after school. Okay. Morning. Why are you so happy today? Because we're at River Valley School of the Arts. Come on. We get to sing, dance, paint, design. It's like the coolest school in the world. Did this just on me today? We've been coming here for like a year. I just have this feeling that there's something in the air. Ooh, something in the air. <laughs> I see the sun waking up the morning, reviving dreams. I feel the wind on my back with promise, reminding me. He's broken. 
the last couple of weeks we've been talking about your testimony. Who can tell me what that is? Gabe. Your testimony is your life story. That's good. Eliana. It's what God's done for you. Mm -hmm. Gavin. According to the dictionary, it's the evidence or proof provided by the appearance of something. That's right. Your testimony is meant to be heard and seen and known. And here at River Valley, you get to tell it through singing, dancing, and painting. Very good. Filmmaking? Yes. And making beats. <laughs> That's right. And your testimony is what this showcase is all about. Kira thought this is about getting a record deal. <laughs> <laughs> and that's OK. But when you get that record deal, what will your songs be about? What will you say through your music? OK, so we've asked you guys to have the topic for your performance ready today. Um, and I know everyone has it, right? <laughs> Claudia, what about you? I'm not sure yet. Jay? Um, I was thinking my topic would be like adoption. Wow, Jay, that's good. You want to share why? No reason. None of my friends at River Valley knew where I lived. And I wanted to keep it that way. My topic is to make a joyful noise. <laughs> <laughs> How does detention sound? Apologies, Mr. Simmons, but we're already booked. <laughs> Mia, what about you? Well, Mrs. Sinclair, I wanted to do something trendy and new in fashion, but you won't let me. <laughs> Mia, every great artist has to learn their history by doing something classic. You mean old and boring? It's never boring discovering something new about yourself, and I want you to find it through a song. So, we've decided who from this class will perform at the showcase. Mrs. Sinclair will direct. <laughs> Kira will stage manage, and the rest of you will be on crew and then perform in the spring. Again, the goal of the showcase is to share your testimony with the world. Showcase is in two weeks. Yeah. All things are possible, right? Remember the questions. What will you tell the world? What will you tell the nations? Mia, may I have a word? If you're wondering what Mia's problem was with Sinclair, let's just say the topic is close to home. I understand that my being your teacher this year might be hard on you, but let's just not do this in front of the class. We can talk about it at home with Dad. Okay, Mom. Having your mom as your teacher and director has got to be tough. Mr. Simmons. Hey, Claudia. Question about the showcase? Kinda. Um, I don't want to perform. But you're performing on a student. Can I just help behind the scenes? You understand you're here on a singing scholarship. Claudia, I think this is your time to be seen. What if I don't want to? Then you'd lose your scholarship. Think about it, okay? He's right, you know. Excuse me? I've heard you sing in chorus. You're really good. You don't know me? Yeah, but I know you've got a great voice. Maybe it's time you stop hiding. Well, look who's talking. Roasted, I know. That was intense. Turns out last weekend, Claudia's dad had his military tour extended for another year. And she wasn't sure she could handle all this. Good thing Kira was always there for her. I just don't want to do this. Trust me, it's going to be OK. Jay, where do you live? Sorry? I asked where you live. You left the home address blank. Oh, yeah, I must have forgotten, too. I live here in River Valley. OK. 
Your family supportive of you being an artist? My family? Yes. Do they encourage you living your dream? Yeah, definitely. Big family? You could say that. Man of mystery. I like it. Back in my audition for River Valley, I just wasn't ready to tell them the truth about being a foster kid. I don't know why, but some things are just easier to say in a song. Okay, Jay, why don't you sing your song? Here's something I've been kind of working on. Yeah. There's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, running after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. Is that okay? I guess it was. I'll show you more of all of our additions to get into River Valley later. <laughs> Meanwhile, DJ and D2 were up to no good again. She's coming. in the locker. Classic. Principal, Principal Frankenheimer. Gentlemen, my office, three o'clock. Yep, colored socks and Birkenstocks. Just one of the many things that made Principal Frankenheimer, well, unique. Now Frankenheimer had tried everything to get through to these two. This should have been their last straw. So what he did next surprised us all. Gentlemen, Winston Churchill once asked the British people what they were willing to do to obtain victory. No matter the danger. Wait, are we getting detention? What are you saying, sir? Gentlemen, I'm afraid we have a rat in our midst. Oh, yeah, by the dumpster. I nicknamed him Rat Kung Fui because he looks like he's doing a little Kung Fu moves. Speaking of kung fu moves, check out this security cam footage. Turns out someone was dressing up as a janitor and dancing around our school at night, moving things around. Weird. So weird, we should have known something was off. Strange things are happening here at night. So what do you want from us? Gentlemen, I need your skills. I need pranksters to catch pranksters, to get inside their minds. In short, I need you two to be on my special ops team. I don't know, Prince of Frankenheimer. Yeah, we're no snitches. Or you could always just spend all summer in detention. When do we start? What's your favorite today, Pop? Sing to the Lord a new song. Mia's grandpa couldn't remember her anymore. Declare his glory. And I think that made her sad. Especially because he was always so supportive of her. My little dreamer, he called her. The one thing Mia couldn't resist was clothes. But this time, curiosity got the best of her. You my new nurse? 
Oh, I was... Either I'm getting older and older, or y'all getting younger and younger. I was just visiting my grandfather and... He's single? He's not. I mean, I don't know. You don't know? I was just... You were just touching my stuff. Yes, I was. It's... Oh, no, I'm so sorry. Awkward introduction, I know. Don't worry. She'd be back to clean up the mess. All right, thanks, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. You change your mind? Play it again. You unravel me with the melody. You surround me with a song of deliverance from my enemies. To Nothing, it's just the words. They sound personal. Just a song. I saw where you live. My bus goes by the boys' home. Thanks anyways. Jay, I won't tell anybody. Do you want to write this weekend? Showcase is in less than two weeks and I could use some help. I guess having a friend knowing my secret wasn't so bad. Where were you? Nowhere. What'd you get? Nothing. Fuzzy baby animals? What? I like fuzzy baby animals. Oh, DJ. D2. To what do I owe this honor? Just doing some educational reading, Miss Baumgartner. Super spy. 101. Some recreational espionage? Something like that. That's strange. All of my pens and pencils are missing. In fact, all of my stationery is gone. Strange. Strange indeed. Gentlemen, Moonlight Mission is a go. What was that about? Nothing. Nothing. What are you guys doing? Nothing. Nothing. So, have you decided what you're gonna perform? Yeah, she's gonna sing with me. Wait, you're working on a new song, Jay? Can I hear it? It's not finished. Uh, Claudia and I are working on it this weekend. Well, if she doesn't want to sing with you, I will. You're not a shy one. Why should I be? God gave me a gift. Might as well show it off. You were the gift. <laughs> How about you, Mia? What are you gonna perform? I'm working on something. Better get cooking. Showcase is less than two weeks. Yeah. Kira, do you ever get scared? You know, like, nervous about performing in front of everyone? Sure, I get scared sometimes. I mean, don't we all? Yeah. It's also kind of exciting, right? Yeah, totally. Look, every time I go on stage, I just ask God to help me shine so that he can shine. I figure no matter what happens, whether I'm great or not. Not. <laughs> He's going to love me anyways. You create you. 
Kira. Wow, well done. Thank you. Great. Kira, what would you like to do in the future? Well, I sing and dance and act and... Oh, I want to write and direct and produce. Freeze. Kira is a natural born performer. She sang before she talked and danced before she walked. So it was tough for her to be stage manager. Sinclair was testing Kira because she saw something in her back then. Now, is there anything you don't want to do? Stage manage. Okay. <laughs> Can't or don't want to. Mm, neither. Both. I mean, I was made to shine, not hide backstage, you know what I mean? I do know what you mean. You are made to shine, but for who? What? Not what. Who? I don't get it. <laughs> Maybe we can figure it out together. Maybe? Maybe. We'll let you know. Just take a seat. Thank you. Bye. She's a cutie. She's ambitious. <laughs> she reminds me of a British teacher I know. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Claudia and Kira couldn't have been more different. Maybe that's why they became best friends. Your song sounds great. You can hear everything out here. Thanks. Your voice is wow. <laughs> I'm Kira. Claudia. So how do you feel it went? Oh, great. Think you'll get in? For sure. Well, I think so. I hope so. I I've been preparing for this audition for, like, a year. You've been preparing for this audition for a year? Of course. Wh what about you? I think I'm gonna throw up. Okay, well, good luck. <laughs> As promised, Mia came back to clean up her mess. Well, don't just stand there hovering. Come on in. It won't be your first time. Yeah, about that, I'm sorry. I brought you a new frame. Oh, thank you. We haven't officially met. I'm Miss Vicky. Mia. Nice to meet you, Miss Mia. What are you working on? A fancy dress. For what, a special occasion? Um, not sure, but I feel one coming. Where'd you learn how to sew? My mama taught me how else, and her mama taught her. I want to be a fashion designer someday. Is that so? Yeah, sometimes when I close my eyes, I see all these colors and fabrics flowing and saying beautiful things. You sure you don't want to be a poet instead? Come on, you want to learn? Learn what? How to sew. If you're gonna be a famous fashion designer someday, you gotta know how to sew. I don't know, my dad's waiting for me. Your dad's in the room with your granddaddy, reading scripture to him as he always does. 
How'd you know? I make it my business to know things. Come on. Sometimes messes turn into really cool moments. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I get lost in thought when I'm thinking about fashion. It says you're applying for the fashion design program. I don't see any experience here. Well, I love to dance and act, but this is my newest passion. Which is great, but you know it is a four-year commitment. So, why fashion? Well, my mom always says that fashion is the art of living life. What would you say to those who think it's superficial or vain? Well, I'd say that... God dressed up the world with beautiful textures, patterns, and colors in creation. And I made in his likeness and image, so... So, you want to change the world one outfit at a time? No, I want to change the world one person at a time. For me, it's not just about the clothes on the outside. It's about what's on the inside. Good, Mia. Very good. So, do I have a second call back? <laughs> not yet, but you do have a ride home, away from the outside. Okay. I knew lying on my application was wrong. I just didn't know how to make it right. Wow, she is passionate. Is that what you call it? Yeah, she reminds me of one of my colleagues. <laughs> Touche. Oh, hi, Jay. You all right? Uh, no. I need to tell you something. Okay, shoot. I lied. Oh. On my application. Oh, what about? Where I live. But you didn't write anything. You left everything blank. Yeah, exactly. But I do have a home. Hill's home for boys. I know what it is. I was just embarrassed, I guess. Look, I don't know my parents. And I don't know why they gave me up. And I've never been adopted, and I don't know why. But there's one thing I do know. I want to go to this school more than anything. Why? Because I have all this stuff. These feelings and thoughts and ideas and songs inside me. And the only time I feel good is when I sing and dance and write. Like, just for that one moment. Just for a couple of minutes and nothing else matters. And everything's okay, better than okay. Everything's just right. Thank you, Jay. For what? For being honest, man. Telling the truth can be scary sometimes. But man, it feels good. Hello? Hey, can I speak to Jay? Jay, for you. It's a girl. Hello? Hey, Jay, it's me, Claudia. Hey. We still on for tomorrow? Yeah, about rehearsal. I can't. Wait, why? My mom. She has to work and I have to watch my baby sister. Why don't you both just take the bus over here? She can play, we can write. Claudia, 
Look at the picture I made for Dad. I just can't. But I, I want to write the song with you. Why me? Because you understand what it means to want to be invisible. Claudia. I gotta go. Bye, Jay. Claudia. When does Dad get our package? I don't know, Phoebs. Adoption. You chose me. I chose you. Even though you didn't know me. No, I knew you. I hung on the cross communicating my covering. You bled and you died to tell me you love me. And rose from the grave to claim you as family. I am a daughter of the king. Adopted into his bloodline of family. Happy Dante. Thanks. I asked these guys to write a piece on Romans 8.15. Why don't you guys turn there? Jay? For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you received the spirit of adoption as sons, by whom we cry, Abba, Father. It's the same with us. All of us. When we said yes, when we say yes to Jesus, he takes us in and adopts us into his family. In fact, in a way, that's a big part of what this is all about. God's love for us and this amazing promise. Jay. I didn't feel like I had any friends, let alone a family. Turn to 2 Corinthians 6.18. Hi, I'm Claudia. Oh, yeah, uh, Jay's friend. Is Jay around? Hey. Hey. Yeah, awkward. Moving on. So I was thinking after D, we go from G and then to a C. I love this place! Looks like she's having fun. So, why are you all dressed up? No reason. Liar. <laughs> to meet a family? To, like, adopt you? Jay, that's amazing. Maybe. This happens a couple times a year. Really? Yeah, it never works out for one reason or another. Everyone wants a puppy. What's that mean? It means families want a baby. Nobody wants the old dog from the pound. Anyways, the family's supposed to come by any minute. You ever wonder about your real parents? I have this dream where, like, I'm just a little guy, two or three, and I'm on the beach with my mom and dad, and my dad picks me up and does the whole airplane thing and swings me up onto his shoulders. And I feel like I can touch the sky. Sometimes my dad and I play this game where we just make up a song. We close our eyes and he starts the melody and I... Yeah, that's it. Sing it again. Jay, you got a sec? Here we go. The Thompson family never came to meet me. It wasn't the first time someone left me behind. I know you're trying hard to just be strong. And it's a fight just to keep it together, together. I know you think that you are too far gone. 
that hope is never lost hope is never lost hold on don't let go what am i doing wrong hey hold on don't <laughs> let go just stay one step closer put one foot in front of the other you'll get through this just follow the light in the darkness you're gonna be okay You okay? Yeah, I don't have a song for the showcase yet. I really wanted to find the right one. Did you pray about it? I did. I don't know, Dad. I just felt like it was supposed to be something old and new. You'll find it. Be back in a minute. Where are you going? Okay, ladies and gents, two minute break. Well, hey, baby, you okay? Miss Vicky, will you help me with something? I like it. Sounds like a classic for the showcase. Yeah. Need some help? No. Showcase is in one week. I know, Mom. All right, well, Dad's getting dinner ready, so we gotta get going. Mom, did you ever try something that felt bigger than you? Every day. I mean, I can see the movements and hear all the notes from my performance. I just don't know how to put it all together. I know what you mean. You do? There was this one performance in a big concert hall. How many people? Just a couple thousand. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I had to play this classical piece. It was the Beethoven Sonata Number no. 8. I was really nervous. You were nervous? Of course. How old were you? About your age. So, how'd you do it? I just took it one note at a time. And slowly, Came together. Do you miss it? Playing the piano? No, going after your dream. I never stopped. Even when you had me? Just a little detour. You're a big part of my dream. <laughs> you're sappy. Wanna show me what you're working with so far? Not much. I heard Miss Vicky singing this old hymn. You mean? Take my life and let it be. You knew it? Why didn't you say anything? He didn't ask. Sing it with me. Take my moments and my days Let them flow in ceaseless praise Let them flow in ceaseless praise Here I'd love to do something new and trendy? Yeah, kinda. 
Okay, so let me know what you're thinking. Well, I was thinking about talking to DJ and D2 about adding something cool to my song. And now, for a little random comic relief, DJ and D2's audition. And now, for an audition unlike anything you've ever seen before, please welcome the hip-hop comedy stylings of DJ D2. And all the way from Boca Raton, it's their cousin, D3. Yours truly. Take it away, boys. Go ahead. Make my audition day. You don't understand. I could have been somebody. I could have been a platinum song rapper instead of a bum. I just thought things would be different. You'd be Senator Spagatini, Pastor Cannoli. The big shot, you know? You talking to me? I said, you talking to me? Oh. Yep, believe it or not, that got him in. You okay? I'm good. DJ and D2's plan was to catch this dancing janitor in the act. Surprisingly, Frankenheimer had gone along, spy goggles and all. This place gets a bit freaky at night. Just use your night vision goggles. Don't worry about it. We've got them outnumbered. There are three of us and only one of them. We just split up, cover more territory. Good idea. Really? You gentlemen go that way, I'll go this way. DJ, wait up. So they didn't catch the janitor. They found the science class skeleton instead. Clearly too scary a prank to show. I need to go to the bathroom. I think you just did. Her dad's encouragement was the reason Claudia first started singing. I guess she lost her confidence when he was sent overseas. It was the night before the big showcase. And I think she was just trying to find it again. Claudia? Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. That's okay. What are you doing here so late? I was wondering if I could rehearse for tomorrow. Sure thing. Just be sure to turn off the lights and lock up when you're done. I will. Do you think your dad'll be able to make it? No, he's still overseas. Be so proud of you. You can do this. Thanks, Mr. Simmons. I don't know if I can do this without you. I need you to be brave for me, okay? While I'm gone.
Oh, how you love us, from the homeless to the famous and in between. You formed us, you made us carefully, because in the end, we're all your children. Beautiful lyrics, Claudia. Well done. Ray, any feedback? Yeah, I don't believe you. Sorry? Ray. Yeah, the lyrics are lovely, but I don't believe you believe your own words. Okay, I was just... Would you sing it? She's only applying for the songwriting program. Yeah, I know, but... Sing what? Your song. I don't really have a melody. Oh, come on, Claudia. I mean, you must have hummed a couple while you were writing the lyric. Maybe. Then sing one. Right now. <laughs> That's the idea. I, I don't... Claudia, do you want to come to River Valley? Very much. Then I need to see more. Today, right now. That hallway is filled with kids who would lay it all on the table. Take any risk to be here. I mean, do you understand that? Yes. Right, then this is your chance. And I want you to take it. Right. Ladies, will you come in here, please? Sure. Thank you. Now I need your help. Claudia does. I'd like two rows of two either side right here, please. Thank you. Claudia, I'd like you to stand on the table. You want me to what? No questions. Just trust me and do as I say. Simmons could see something inside Claudia. And like her dad, he was just calling it out. I want you to face that way. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Sing for me. Dad. Sing for me. And help me to love with open arms like you do. The love that erases all the lines and sees the truth. And all when they look in my eyes, they would see. They would feel the Father's love. It was finally the night of the showcase, and everyone was kind of freaking out. Seen my wig? Has anybody seen the turtle? Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Ladies and gentlemen, that that man for Aaron. You know, I like when they played Winston Churchill. I very already ice ice eel music. It was called Winnie the British Bulldog. Still drinking out of an hour. There you are. Where'd you go? I had a principal to this new tent. Now, where did you go? Never mind. Listen, listen, listen. Definitely two guys. Definitely. You saw all of them. Great, great, great. JJJ22. Now, we know what to look out for. Stay vigilant. The cold, cold could be right under our noses. Good work, work. There you, you are. You okay? okay? Yeah, yeah.
everybody in, in the form of very special songs they put together. together. Please welcome on stage, stage Jay, Jay and Claudia. Claudia. Yes, just the do and come and come solo. solo. Take, Take it away, JJ. I'm gonna miss you, see. Sing for me. Dad. Close your eyes. Sing for me. Promise me you'll keep singing.
Maybe people seeing who you really are is a good thing. Before the finale, we'd like our students to share what they learned from this experience. Psalm 96.3 invites us to declare his glory among all the nations, his marvelous deeds among all people. So, what will you tell the nations he's done? I will tell the nations that he loves all colors and shapes. I will tell nations that he loves us, even when we mess up. And that he loves me even if I don't perform, though it's not as fun. That my voice was made to be heard. That's right. I am a son in God's family. That the joy of the Lord is my strength. And it's okay to laugh. And I will tell the nations that the old and the new are beautiful together. So here's something a little old and a little new. Take my life and let it be Consecrated, Lord, to Thee Take my moments and my days Let them flow in ceaseless praise Our showcase was a hit. 
in more ways than we could ever imagine. Where are we going? Just wait. Keep your eyes closed. I am. Okay, open your eyes. Surprise! Wait, who's this guy belong to? He's yours, Jay. I'm so proud of you, sweetie. Thanks, Mom. We sent the video of you singing to Dad. And? Surprise! Hey, guys, quiet down. I'm trying to talk to my baby girl. Dad. I'm proud of you. Thanks, Dad. Oh, my gosh, you were so good. I love this song. You are seriously the best stage manager ever. We couldn't have done it without you. Hey, sweetheart. You found it. Way to take a classic and make it your own thing. The older than you never look better. I couldn't have done it without Miss Vicky. Speaking of which, where is she? Oh, uh, she had to go home early. She said, baby, I gotta get up early to go to church. Well, all right then. Have you seen Frankenheimer? No. It's strange. Hey, everybody, out to the floor. It's time to celebrate. <laughs> Got gotcha you back, gentlemen. <laughs> victory! Gentlemen, sweet victory, no matter what. Now, how would you two like to become a permanent part of my prank task force? Deal! Turns out the only way Frankenheimer could get through to these two was to beat them at their own game. <laughs> A few days after the showcase, we all got asked to show up to school early. 
So does anyone know why we're here? No, it's weird. My mom got a text from Simmons last night. Me too. Me three. Strange. Strange indeed. Kira, you're quiet. Do you know something? Maybe. Good morning. Morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. How do you feel after the big showcase? It was so yeah. awesome. Was super good. You should feel good. Really good. So what's going on? Why are we here? Good question. Read them out loud. What's this? Testimonies. We printed them out for you. Jay, my name is Andy and I live in Ohio and I'm a foster kid too. Saw your song online and I just wanted to say thanks. Gave me hope. Keep writing songs and singing. Mine's from Germany. A girl who loves gospel music and fashion says my songs and outfit inspire her. I got one from California. From Brittany. Her dad's overseas in the Marines. Ours is from New York. Twin brothers into hip hop and comedy. A how you like damn apples. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I don't understand. How did they see our showcase? Yeah, who posted? My mom and dad did. My dad did. Well, I may have added a few details online here and there. Your video's got hundreds of thousands of views. There are testimonies coming in from around the world about kids who are being inspired and encouraged. So now the question is, what are we gonna do about it? About what? About this. This response. These stories are not just about popularity, hits, or views. God is saying something to you. He's inviting you in to something. Okay. But what? Well, I was thinking. What if we form, like, a group? Like a band? Way more than that. Than what? I think there are kids all around the world who are going through all kinds of stuff, and they need help. But what can we do? I mean, we are just a group of kids at a performing arts school. But are you? These testimonies say otherwise. What if we work as a team to create things? Stories, videos. Songs. Routines. routines. Yeah. Films. Yeah, that answered their questions. That help them deal with things. Exactly, like a dear rabbit. Uh-oh. That's before their time. That's a good point. Like a vlog for kids around the world. But in a new way. A new creative way. Yeah. Yeah, that's so yeah. 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 The only question is, what are we going to call ourselves? Well, Jesus said you'd be the light of the world. I got it. The flashlights. <laughs> <laughs> How about the glow sticks? <laughs> How about bright ones? Oh, I get it. Yeah. 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 That's pretty good. Let's do it. We never thought that sharing our story could change so many lives. And that one moment would change ours. Looking back now, I see the future. The pieces were all there. We're ready for you. Not alone, but together. We did become the bright ones inspiring kids around the world. And one thing led to another. I guess sometimes your destiny begins with one small leap of faith. Congratulations. Welcome to River Valley School of the Arts. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage for your first fashion tour, Bright One. We are your bright ones, lit up with your love, golden in darkness, we shine with you.
faith gets tired and my hope seems lost You spin me round and round It remind me of that song The one you wrote for me And we Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed the film as much as we did making it. It's time to get ready for our family dance party. Snaps, claps, and singers, I hope you remember your part. Let's get ready for this next step. Okay, stand up right where you are in front of your seat. Yes, I actually mean stand up right now. There you go. I'm going to teach you the intermediate step together, and here's what we're going to do. You're gonna stand straight, start with your right foot and step right and bring your left foot to your right foot. Then you're gonna take your left, step to the left and bring your right foot over to the left. Now let's put that together. Step together, step together, step together, step together. Great, now let's try that with a snap. Go, step, snap, step, snap, step, snap, step and snap. Now, let's try it with a clap. Step, clap, step, clap, step, clap, step, and clap. All right, that's the intermediate step. Let's try it now with music. Great job. Now it's time for the last level of movement. Okay, I want everyone who wants to try to come towards the front of the theater and find an open space. Down towards the screen, the side aisles, anywhere there's some open floor. This is the group dance and it's gonna be really fun. Here's section one.
Okay, you've made your way down to the front or to some open space, and that took a lot of courage. Now we get to move on to the fun stuff, the group dance. Are you ready? I'm gonna turn myself around so that what I'm doing is exactly what you're doing. Ready, right foot, corner, center, left corner, center, right corner, center, left corner, center. All right, that's part one. Now you have the option to add the arms with the legs. And this is where you get to freestyle the arms and bring in your personality. We're gonna do part one again. Are you ready? Here we go. Right corner, center, left corner, center, right corner, center, left corner, center. Great job. That's part one. We're going to move on now to part two. Taking your right foot, stepping to your right, coming back to center, and then slide right and together. Great. Now we move on with the left leg going left leg steps, then right leg and then left so that now we're facing sideways. All right? We're gonna take just that step from the top. Are you ready? Here we go. Step together, slide together, left, right, left, and stop. Great job. Now we're gonna move on to part three and then we'll put parts one, two, and three together. Ready? Part three is a walk back and forth, but I want you to think of it like a strut and I want you to have some fun with it. Okay, we're gonna take it step by step, starting with the right foot, going right foot, left foot, right foot, left, and then we reverse. Left, right, left, and right. Okay, that's part three. Let's put together parts one, two, and three. Are you ready? Here we go. Right corner, step, left corner, center, right corner, center, left corner, center, step, right, together, slide, together, then left, right, left, and stop, then walk, two, three, left foot, back it up, two, three, and right. Okay, final part, part four. You're gonna take your right foot and step forward, Take that same foot and step back and then step forward one more time. So that's forward, back, forward. Then you're gonna take this left foot and you're going to pick it up and plant it down. Okay, don't worry that you're facing away. Just look over your shoulder and catch these last four moves. Everybody lean into your left leg and only the right leg is gonna turn you around in four steps. Ready, go. One, two, three, and four. Great. And at this point, you've completed parts one, two, three, and four. Let's put it all together. Are you ready? Here we go. Five, six, seven, goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Step side together, slide together. Left, right, left, and stop. Walk one, two, three, and left, back two, three, and right, forward, back, step, turn, one, two, three, and four. All right, great job. That's parts one through four. Now we're gonna do it with the music. In this next section, we're going into slow motion. Check out this moment from the film. 
Make sense? Let's try section two together. In section three, we're gonna go into freestyle. Freestyle is when you listen to the music and just do your own thing. And in this freestyle scene from the film, the whole cast came on stage and just had fun. When it's time, that's exactly what we'd like you to do. And right at the very end, you'll get to do something really special that all performers get to do. And that is to take a bow. Now let's practice. No matter what you're doing or where you are, lift your hands high up into the sky and take a bow. Well done. And like we promised, there's something for everyone to do. So, if you're a filmmaker, videographer, or just a mamarazzi with a smartphone in your pocket, we've got something fun for you to do. Find a great spot and do what you do. You can take pictures, live stream, post to social media. Just remember to use the hashtag bright ones and share this moment with the world. Now, are you ready? Snaps, claps, movers and shakers, everyone, it's time for the family dance party. Thanks for being a part of the Bright Ones experience. Remember, find your voice, tell your story, and change the world. All right, here we go.